right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a subcutaneous injection. Please remember, make sure you follow that policy um, and procedure from your facility or your checklist from your nursing college. When we do the subcutaneous injection, um, you wanna make sure you pick the best site for your patient. So some medications are better in the stomach, some are better in the arm, some are patient preference, so make sure you pick the right site. Um, a couple of the sites I'm gonna show you guys. You can get the back of the arm, this kind of back fat here, if you pinch it up. You can get the stomach, make sure it's always at least two inches away from the umbilicus. The back right here, you can get some of this back fat. Um, we also have some people that can do it between the scapula. I've never done that personally, but I've seen it um, in some of the books. And then on the thighs, wherever you can pinch up some of that extra skin. So for this, I'm going to use one of the little pillows. When we go into our patient's room, we've already got our medication drawn up. Um, I wanna make sure I have the correct size needle. So for a subcutaneous needle, as I mentioned, follow your policy, follow your procedure, follow your checklist, follow whatever your school tells you, the textbook, all of that. Um, one way to remember it is, this is a 25 gauge needle, a five, looks like an S. So subcutaneous. That's one way to kind of help guide you to get an approximate. Um, insulin needles, um, they actually will say insulin on them, so make sure if you're giving insulin, you use an insulin needle, not a different one. Um, but for this insulin needle here, it's actually a 29 gauge, which is completely fine. It's appropriate for this patient. So you want to make sure to clean the patient in a circular motion. allow that area to dry while that's drying. I'm just gonna grab some gloves over here. All right, so of course, make sure you are careful. You always have to have your gloves on when you're giving your patients injections. So with this, whenever I give a subcutaneous injection, according to my personal textbook um, that we use in my course, you could either go at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle. Make sure you consult with your textbook or your nursing instructor or facility. Um, for this, this person has enough subcutaneous tissue for me to go at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take off that needle. We've already cleaned and let it dry. So you always do one hand and then the other hand. That's how you kind of remember what you're doing. So you pinch, poke, release, inject. So my left hand's gonna pinch, my right hand's gonna poke. When you poke, you don't wanna be all the way up here because you're gonna risk poking your own finger. Kind of do it like a soft dart. So I've pinched, you're gonna poke like a soft dart. Then I'm going to release with my left hand, bring that left hand up and start to inject slowly. Make sure you follow whatever the rules are according to your textbook of how fast you actually want to inject the medication. A lot of places say about a milliliter per second, um, but again, that kind of varies. Then you're gonna give it a couple of seconds. I like to count to 10. One, two, three, and we'll go up to 10. And then I'm gonna pull it straight out. This needs to be engaged. So as I engage my safety, I flip this up here and lock it and that's gonna help protect me from getting poked again. So then this goes into your sharps container and you're ready to go on with your patient care.